Hello, Meg here from I Teach Stamping and welcome to today's pre-Friday flip. Today we're going to be making the inspiration card. It's going to go together remarkably fast. So let's go ahead and dive in. So let's take a look. Here's the card that we're going to be making today. And the first thing that we're going to do is our die cutting and our dry embossing. So to get this great little scallop edge, I'm going to use the scallop square that's from the square framelit set. And I'm just going to do this on a piece of pear pizzazz cardstock. But if you don't have a certain scallop edge or if you don't have um, you know, scallop border punch, you still want to get that great framelit or that great scallop look is what I should say. Here's another way to get it. So here we have it just like that. We don't have to die cut out the whole thing. All right, so we're going to take this and set it aside. And now we're going to do our dry embossing. We're going to use the Elegant Dots Embossing Folder from Stampin' Up. And it's going to be on a piece of Wisteria Wonder cardstock. It's going to be four inches. I'm sorry, four and a quarter inches by two and a quarter. And I'm just lining this up. I'm looking at a dot that's at the top of a circle and lining it up all the way across. I put this in and we're going to zip it on through. So I love cards that I can make quickly, but then I also like versatility. To me, this is one that hits both of those. And you don't have to go back and forth. I'm just doing it because there's stuff over here and I don't want to hit it. All right, so once we have that, we have this fabulous texture here. And now we're ready to do our stamping. So I'm going to move this out of the way and bring in our grid paper. There we go. And let's go ahead and stamp. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you the stamp sets. We're going to use the pictogram punches and the tin of cards. Both sets are from Stampin' Up. And we're going to start with the little heart. And this heart is going to be punched in pear pizzazz ink just onto an extra piece of cardstock. Right? And then we're going to switch over to our thank you. We're going to stamp this in Wisteria Wonder onto a piece of white cardstock that's going to be one and three quarters by one and three quarters. There we have that. All right, we are all done with our stamping. I don't know why I pulled out the pool party ink, but I did. We don't need it. And we are ready to do all of our assembly. I just like to get these closed up so I don't accidentally drag cardstock through it. So let's go ahead and bring in this piece right here and this piece right here. So this pair of pizzazz is going to be longer than we need it to be. So I'm going to take it. We're going to line this up just to the edge of that scallop. When I say the edge of the scallop, I mean like the little valley in between them. And I can just grab my scissors and trim off the excess. All right, so that's all we need to do with that. Now we can go ahead and bring in our, our card bases. It's going to be pool party four and a quarter by 11 inches scored at five and a half. I'm going to take this, there we go, and I just ran out of adhesive, woohoo, luckily I have a spare. So I'm going to line up my cardstock on my grid paper, and then pick a point and attach that I actually that's a little lower than I want it to be, but I haven't pressed down for real, so that's okay. All right, now we're going to press down for real. Let me double check. Oh, no, there's still a little bit left. Okay, so we're going to hope that we have enough to fit. We don't. It's out. I thought there was a little bit left, so let's, I'll just use this. It's not my favorite adhesive, but it'll get the job done for right now. All right, so we're going to take that, and then we're going to take a piece of pool party cardstock and a one and three eighth inch circle punch. We're going to put this behind our thank you. And then this is going to go onto our card. And we're going to come in with a little small heart punch. And then we're going to bring in some dimensional. So this is a very small heart. I'm going to take just an edging, or you can cut a dimensional in half. I'll take that. Put it in place. And then the only other thing we need to do is add a little bow. So I took some white baker's twine, 
and just tie a simple bow using the 10 second bow maker. And we're just going to take some liquid glue and let that get nice and dry and then I can mess with the tails if I need to. And there we have our cute little card. See, I told you we'd go together in minutes. So this is our pre-flip. So be sure to check in this Friday for the next Friday flip. So if you like this video and you like this project, please be sure to like it below. Also be sure to share it with your friends. And then I will see you in the next Friday flip. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, be sure to do that now so you'll be notified whenever a new video is posted. Again, I'm Meg from I Teach Stamping. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.